In this video, we will set up Langflow locally and connect it to Langsmith so that when we run a flow in Langflow, we can trace and see the information of the run in Langsmith. When we use Langsmith, we can see how many tokens are used for the components of a run and which prompt is finally sent to the LLM. We can even see some metadata of the run, for example, the model used and the temperature. This helps us over time to better understand what's going on under the hood and to improve and make our app production ready. So let's see how we can set up Langflow locally and connect it to Langsmith to use these features. In your project folder, create a new directory and give it a name like Langflow-Langsmith. Change to the new directory and from inside the directory start Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, open the terminal and type python-m vnv vnv to create a virtual environment for the project. After the virtual environment is created, we activate it so that the name of the virtual environment appears before our prompt, in our case, vnv. Now that we have a virtual environment for the project, we can go ahead and install the packages. As we only have two packages to install, we do not need a requirements.txt and can install them directly using pip install langflow space langsmith. Depending on the speed of your machine, it takes some while. After the packages and the dependencies are installed, the prompt comes back and we can clear the screen. The next step is to create a project in langsmith. So we navigate to Langsmith and create a project and call it Langflow-Langsmith. Submit and copy the configuration data. Back in Visual Studio Code, we create a .env file and paste the configuration data into the file. Notice that the project name is already set, but the API key is missing. So we come back to Langsmith and go to the API section create an API key, copy the key, and close the pop-up. Back in Visual Studio Code, we paste the key in the right position, remove the export, save, and close the .env file. Now we are ready to start Langflow. To start Langflow and connect it to Langsmith, we have to start Langflow using the dash dash env dash file option. So we start Langflow by typing langflow dash dash env dash file dot env and hit enter. Langflow starts and listen to the port 7860. We can hold the control key and click on the link to open the Langflow UI. We start by creating a new project. First, we need an LLM chain. To set up the LLM chain, we need an LLM and a prompt, which are marked with asterisks and we can optionally provide a memory if we like. So we add a chat open AI, a conversation buffer memory and a prompt template. The chat open AI needs a key. So we navigate to the open AI API section, create a secret key, give it an optional name, copy the key, and close the pop-up. Back in Langflow, we add the key to the chat OpenAI component. Next, we go to our prompt template and enter the prompt. This is a friendly conversation between a teacher and a student. And add a variable question for the student, which will be filled with our input. We save the prompt and go back to the canvas. Now it's time to adjust the position of the components, adjust the size, fit the components on the canvas, and connect the dots. When we are happy with the position of the components on the canvas, we can compile the flow and open the chat box to test the flow. First, we enter the prompt. How fast is the speed of sound? And is it consistent? We get an answer back from ChatGPT with some metric and imperial units and some additional information about the speed of sound. 
We only need the metric values. So we can go back to our flow and open our prompt template and refine the prompt with the teacher and the student understand only metric values. We save and compile the flow and open the chat box again. We can copy our last prompt and clear the box and ask the same question again. This time we get our answer only in metric values. Now we have two runs. To compare them, we can switch to Langsmith. As you can see, I already have some projects in Langsmith. From using Langsmith without environment variables to connecting Langsmith to Flowwise running on render.com. If you are interested, you can watch other videos on this channel to learn more about using Langsmith. But for this video, we see that our project langflow-langsmith is created and has two runs and used 83 tokens. We can adjust the visibility of the columns and show and hide information about the projects. When we click on our project, we see the two runs. And if we click on a run, we get more information about it, like the tokens used for each step and the components and even the final prompt sent to the LLM and the answer of the LLM. We can go back and go to the other run and compare the runs. Here we added a line to refine the prompt. Finally, in the metadata section, we can see some more details about the run. For example, the model used and the temperature. To wrap it up, Langsmith is a very useful tool for AI development and now you can connect Langsmith to your Langflow chat flows and trace and debug your code. Good luck.